Where does the investigation of Russian interference in the 2016 election go from here? That question obviously was brought into dramatic relief by the testimony on Thursday of fired FBI Director James Comey before the Senate Intelligence Committee, in which he said President Trump attempted to interfere to slow down or change his investigation of that question. But he also said the president himself was never the subject of the FBI's inquiry. Well, two important things to remember going forward. The first is that in the course of that Comey hearing on Thursday, Republican senators tended to stay basically behind the president, or at least neutral in their question questioning, frame their questions in such a way as to defend the president or to question whether uh, FBI Director Comey uh, should have blown the whistle earlier if he really felt the president was interfering in his elections. You ever wonder why, of all the things in this investigation, the only thing that's never been leaked is the fact that the president was not personally under investigation, despite the fact that both Democrats and Republicans and the leadership of Congress knew that and have known that for weeks? So this question of whether uh, Republicans stay with the president is crucial. And another important voice came afterwards from uh, House Speaker Paul Ryan, who said the hearing made him understand the president's point of view a little better. What I got out of that testimony is we now know why he was so frustrated when the FBI director told him three times there's, there's no investigation of him, yet that speculation was allowed to continue. So obviously we know now why he was frustrated. The second point to remember is that this investigation now moves much more directly into the lap of Robert Mueller, who's been appointed as the Justice Department's special counsel to launch his own independent inquiry into what really happened and whether there was collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians in 2016. A special counsel inquiry is much quieter, it's darker, it's in the land of grand jury subpoenas uh, and, and private uh, investigators and secret depositions. So that may lower the volume considerably in coming weeks, which is good for President Trump. On the other hand, uh, Director Mueller is going to make his own decision about whether to investigate the president himself. That's a decision that now lies ahead.